Hi, welcome to the medcenter.com. In this video, we are going to uh, talk through a problem uh, that appeared uh, in the uh, specimen paper 2020 of the CIE further maths, I repeat CIE uh, further maths 9231 and this uh, appeared as one of the questions in paper four, yeah, specimen paper. You can look up the question, uh, the details of the question uh, on the CIE website. Uh, I just want to talk about the main thing. So the stuff that we need is on the board. And before we talk about the solution, uh, please share this video as much as you can. Uh, give this video a like and uh, follow me on Facebook and YouTube. For details of the courses we run, online at the medcenter.com, please visit my website. Let's start. We are given uh, x is a continuous random variable, okay? CRV is continuous random variable. I repeat, look up the question on the CIE website, yeah? And the probability density function, they have given it to us, the probability density function um, for x between 0 and 1 and for x greater than 1. And uh, you asked to find in part A, probability x bigger than 1. So, uh, to find the probability x bigger than 1, all you have to do is to deal with the density function. Uh, the density function will be uh, the correct, uh, the correct uh, part of this PDF. Uh, in this case, x bigger than 1. So, we are going from 1 to infinity. Uh, the PDF involved will be 6 over 5, x to the power minus 4 dx. Okay? To find probabilities, we take fx dx. I repeat, to find probabilities, when we're dealing with continuous random variables, we take fx dx. Yeah? You can also work this using uh, the complement, because I see there's a linear function from 0 to 1, so some of you may find it easier to work with linear functions, so you can work the complement and then take the, uh, you can work with the complement and then you can take 1 minus that for the answer. But I'm just working it out as it appears, uh, bigger than 1. So I have got uh, 6 over 5, x over minus 4, plus 1 will be minus 3, minus 3, and infinity 1. Okay? So this will be, let's see, 6 over 5, there's 3 here, there's 2, so let me take out the, okay? 1 over x cubed, and then I have infinity to 1, and this will be minus 2 over 5, uh, 0 minus 1, and you'll get 2 over 5. Not hard to do, yeah? So you don't get many marks on this. It's pretty easy to handle. And we're done. 2 over 5, yeah? Okay, let's go to part B. So remember, we had pro probability of x bigger than 1 is 2 over 5. So 60% of the probability, I repeat, probability x bigger than 1 is 2 over 5. So 60% of the probability is less than or equals to 1, okay? Okay, because it's 2 over 5, 40%. So 60% on that side. So my median for part B becomes easy to do. So the median will be uh, uh, 0 0.5 equals 0 to, let's call the median M, yeah? Uh, remember, at, I didn't talk about the median uh, because, you know, that's kind of basic, yeah? Median means, you know, the probability X less than or equals to M is 0 0.5, yeah? Half the probability lies, uh, half the probability lies below m. So that's how I got the 0 0.5 here. So 0 to m, and uh, we are looking at uh, 605x dx. Not hard, yeah? So uh, let me use half here, right? And then I have, uh, we have got integrate this. I'll get x squared over 2, okay? And I have m and 0. So uh, let's see, I have half equals to uh, 3 over 5, okay, this 2, I take it out, you get uh, 3 over 5, and this will be just m squared, yeah? So I have 3 over 5, m squared equals to half, therefore, m squared will be 5 over 6, okay, 5 over 6, therefore, your m will be the square root of 5 over 6, as you can see here, okay? So not hard to do this problem. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please give, 
please give this video a like and share as much as you can. Follow me on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, thank you very much for watching.